might be going in for the Kaya ban. Kufra has been banned out so much recently. Ooh, Cho is that, getting that, banned. Yeah, that was a respect ban the team uh, Signal Ultra because normally Cho is it's Your always in the uh, in the third phase of ban, the Kaja ban, mm -hmm. and uh, Flag decided to just cut out Cho and Correct. not even consider picking it for themselves. So right now there is two choices: Kufra or Kimi. The thing is, Kimi is really difficult to deal with, and I would strongly advise that most, I mean, most people would most definitely want to ban Kimi. So, Kimi is the most logical answer to this equation, unless, unless, they don't ban anything at all. They don't ban anything at all, which is that side, and now, they are forced to pick one of the other, Kufra or Kimi. I would say that Kimi is probably gonna go to Signal Ultra. Yep. So yeah. you know, is gonna pick up the Kimi. In for uh, in this case, we do have uh, Team Flash that is most probably gonna get the Kufra as well as maybe Akai or Minotaur. Oh, oh Grok and Grok, right. Kufra, yes. I completely that, forgot about Grok. That wasn't bad though, because yes. because if, if you take a look at Grok and Kufra combination, you see that these two heroes are so good when it comes to zoning people right. with the with the barrier and then also the the, the balls of that Kufra. The Monster Ball definitely just uh, just stops a lot of mobility right Yeah, now. and also if you got locked down in, in, in the wall and you get wild charges by the Grog, hey, that's a nightmare. Yep. And this Bell is interesting. Barrick. If it's Barrick, this is going to be the first time ever that Whoa. somebody picked Barrick in this tournament. Barrick and Leomore, interesting. This is very rare. It's, it, is this something to do with the um, first pick, uh, Kimi? Not that I know of. Not that I know of because the thing is Kimi. I've seen I have seen teams that actually let up Kimi a few times, a few times. Fine. But the thing is, I've never seen Bellerick being picked up in most situations. So I would say that they perhaps have a uh, team member that you know excels in Bellerick. Bellerick does have pretty good it damage is. potential because they used Bellerick like three weeks ago in their in their nation league for Team Signal all round when they play in Philippines, and yeah. Um, pretty much like um, a secret weapon for Team Signal Ultra, right? Uh, the Filipinos. We, we got to ask the Filipino fan yeah, maybe, out there in maybe the, the Filipinos fans gives us some idea, this. you know, like uh, what, is the what, what is your uh, favorite heroes of your team? The Would Signal Ultra and also the Flash Gaming. But, um, in a f well, so far, which side do you prefer the carries right here? To? Here's the thing, I really... I really like the Kimi. I really like the Kimi on to Team uh, uh, Signal Ultra side. At least and Estes. Wow, magic! They're boosting magic. In the in, in they want to boost the magic. Yeah. The magic amplification coming in from Alice, followed by uh, the marksman of uh, Kimi. So the thing is, we know for sure that Kimi is going to go for magical damage marksman, and yeah. Leomon is just going to do his usual stuff. He's just going to farm, 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 farm. Be the physical damage. Okay. So the thing is, uh, we do have Bellerick as well as Estes to be the one moving around a lot. Yeah. Alice though, I did not expect that. I, did, I did not expect that too. But well, the thing is, you, you pick Alice and Estes into one of the fastest hero in in the games like uh, Hellcurt and also the uh, Gusion and the uh, Hayabusa as well. This is a very unorthodox team composition that I have yet to Oh, I'm to sorry, see. Hayabusa has been banned. Hayabusa has banned, well. Selena's banned as well. The thing is, Team Flash, their, their lineup looks a lot more solid because it does seem like the, uh, the lineup I see a lot more often. Uh, heroes that is more understandable and in meta in some sense. Uh, getting the Hellcurt is in some sense pretty understandable provided the fact that if the opponent does have Guinevere but the thing is there's no Guinevere so it's fine. Hellcurt himself still deals a good amount of damage com uh, considered by the amount of farm he has. Yeah. Gusion just needs the early game farms, goes Welcome in and kill enemies. Yes. Hellcurt, farm, 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 farm at the side lanes, leave him alone and he'll be a force yeah. to be reckoned. The idea is so easy for Team Flash, you, you just need a fast hero with, with all the, the mobility that you can charge into that Kimi. That's why they're coming up with um, Hellcurt and carry and also Gusion. These heroes are, are good at charging too and it seems like... Kimi does. Yeah, I, I can imagine what's gonna happen if you cannot stop that Kimi, especially when the other team got uh, Kufra too. The thing is Estes though. I would like to I'm see sorry. how they play Estes out of this. 
is really interesting. Uh, but I just might want to focus yeah. a lot on that. Now the thing is, with Esther's babysitting uh, Alice, it makes it super easy for them to push fusion as well as the um, and the tank away. So making sure that Kufa doesn't go in front too much because of the magic damage. We do have CR, we do have Signal Ultra that's actually pushing into the opponent's jungle and trying to take the uh, take the buff. In addition, for Team Flash, they will do the exact same thing. It's a counter push of what they have. But unfortunately, Yaku, I believe with the momentum, he was able to snag that buff all for himself, leaving Team Flash with absolutely nothing. Yeah, let's take a look at the fire and pop lane first. Hellcurt. Uh, man fire right here, charging out from the bush is the um, Grok Waiting for his time to just do the power data You need to be careful and now they're just roaming It, it, it seems like uh, farming on top lane free farm is not a good idea They want to get some experience from the kills And they are waiting, they're using Helker as a bait If nobody comes in and defend it's just gonna take down the mid tier on turret real quick And they fall back once again once again, the team team flash uh, are kind of like moving here and there, but cannot achieve anything. Look at that! That is literally what a Kimi would do. As long as even Turtle if you're just hiding behind soon. the turret, you still get damaged. You still can move I would, around. I would say the team flash are so confident uh, by letting the, uh, the their opponent pick a Kimi. As, as you can see the power of them, not a whole team. Keep rotating together and trying to maybe get a, a fast turtle, I guess. They sacrificed the Kimi just for the Kufra. I'm not too sure whether that is a smart choice. We uh, eventually yes. see how it goes. Yeah, this is going to be the first one. Power oh, Nature swing it out first, first and now the first one for Boozy on Shadow Blade works so well. Has lane to carry uh, in a good position for a free attack. But however, they just bought something back. At least get something out of that team fight for team. Yeah, Signal Ultra and Ace Days actually got one. No, it's currently two, it's a two. We've got a pretty good start coming in from Signal Ultra. Went straight in and for, uh, they was able to get a kill onto Hellcut if I'm not wrong as well as Grok. In the meantime, Drago actually punched straight into the middle of the fight. Activates Bouncing Ball yeah, and bouncing just gonna ball. move back for now. Only for a bit. I, I remember yesterday you, you talk about uh, how scary Leomot is and it, uh, he chose just now that he's just on the horse and just cleaved everyone. You need to be careful. A lot of damage coming out from the uh, Yaku. Yaku will oh. be the main carry of the team. But the thing is, he needs that farm. As we see right now, the only thing that he has is boots. Boots, yeah. tough boots. In fact, tough boots is the only thing that he has. He's slowly making up his items with only 1.7k gold net up right now. The thing is, he is still at the, uh, at the highest for his team. But the yeah. thing is, for the opponent side, well, they are fluctuates. Okay, yeah, okay. what I like about Leomod is his second skill, the Decimation Launch Assault, attack. just gives him a lot of mobility. He can dash through the, the wall attack. and stuff. And now, looping up once again, it's just gonna dive in. Uh, call out the barber. <laughs> Barbell. Okay. The, uh, here comes the horse. <laughs> There's not, nothing that you can do at the point of time, unfortunately. Barbell. Yeah, and like uh, that. Is, is that the name of the, the horse, Barbell? Bar Barbell, if I'm not wrong. I was like, Barbell, Barbell. where's Barbell? Barber, from, by the way. I would like my haircut, please. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> At this moment of time, yeah. we do have Cloud just going around as Gusion together with Drago. They did manage to get the Oh, the nice log. Yeah, setting up the that. barrier and spinning around by the Sackers. But, well, Balleric being Balleric, they managed to get himself away from all of that action That's and Nordic Flash wasn't able to net a single kill from that initiation just yet. But hold on a second, it does seem like they are slowly catching up. Extrago, Signal, oh, that goose on. Yeah, Slowly flat. catching up. With, uh, guys, if you just tune in, uh, we, we gotta inform you guys that this is the, the deciding match in which team will go on for the top 4 and which team will go home. Oh no. Oh no a second. Keep Take me. a look at the bottom lane. It does seem like Leomod is currently under Turtle siege. Resurrecting Leomod always stays alone. Yeah, he's always alone. The thing is, he as a side laner, he has to uh, he has to farm alone. And it's annoying as hell because Team Flash keeps going on to him. There's absolutely no way that they can do anything at this point of time. And right now, this uh, is like... Ah, but not gonna let that happen easily. Coming in with the charge, ready to swing it out. And maybe setting up the barrier and a wild charge. 
No, Croc. Oh, no. Look at that. The Shuttle Blaze comes up on Guzion dealing a lot of damage. The race of team. The race of team. The Geek uh, have to retreat a bit. The has Lane falls down. But Sink. Sink now Ultra. Doing such a great job in this one with a double kill and Guzion. Of Team Flash falls. We have balance the playing field. In the meantime, in the top lane, Dino is trying to use Deadly Stingers all to the other side of River Crab. Oh, Yako man. with Babil will be able to come straight in and swoop the kill right. Babil, it was a, it was an easy kill for him. You know, just on the horse and, and trying to find a low HP target and, and only one cleave he can just finish him all. Exactly. And right now we do have a slight good advantage in favor of. Team Signal Ultra with only about a thousand five hundred. No, no, sorry, make that five hundred. So the advantage is not that high. The objectives is still the most important thing that you have to consider, and it does seem like Signal Ultra has finally made themselves to push Initiate up the retreat. top lane turret. Yaku, Yaku, it's going to be a tower trade. The mid tier on turret for the top tier on turret and uh, signal ultra is still grouping up trying to push on tier 2 turret hellcut almost level 9 flash this is going to be the home of team flash gaming and this might be a deciding factor okay time Zaccus. to swing around oh look at that middle of fury so he comes up he himself was melted down in the middle of team signal ultra the race of team of flash gaming might have to retreat Flash Gaming, my oh my, they actually entered the game, they, ad, uh, they entered the initiation really well. But unfortunately, even though the damage coming from Grog was high, they do not have enough CCs going around. Turtle, Everyone was pretty soon. much, you know, far apart and separated. There was nothing else that Kufa could do, and that was the best that they can do at that point of time. Man, Leomon, every time that he, he called the Phantom Steed, somebody has to die. Uh, uh, if you are in the way of the horse and then you can cleave by him, now it's a second look going in once again for this and and this layer. It was a good open. Goose Yon with the Charter Blade and just got back into the base. Luckily, he, he got away, but however, they can't stop the push of Team uh, Signal Ultra that laid by the uh, Kimmy. Shooting non stop, the matching gun Kimmy is doing his job so good. And here we have the fight continues as Desania tries to get himself alive as long as he can. But unfortunately, he's currently being silenced. Dark Knight falls coming in from Hellcat. But the oh, rest of the team no. comes straight up as Yako on Barbil comes in and swoop in, comes in for the action and kills Hellcat for all that. Oh, however, Flash is not going to give away this game too easily. Somebody gets shut down inside of the base, but the question is can they defend the, uh, the throne with only one guy, Kruzion, and Kufa is reborn? Kuzion killing all the creep with his shuttle blade. And uh, he's just gonna push out and see somebody is trying to kill the beast right here. Are they just gonna go for round two? I don't think so. The Lord is up though, so they can actually up for a level one Lord. They can go for the kill, depending on whether they want to or not. It's gonna be hard due to the fact that they need to push down the middle lane turret and they need Grok to open up the space. To make sure that they are able to safely advance in front True. of Saka. Saka is actually the main guy in this one. He needs to be the first one who initiate with the um, with the barrier, with the wild charge and all this stuff. And now, before the fight even starts, they keep losing member for Team Flash. And now he's killing Spree. Three down Flash. Signal in a good position right now. Here's the thing. Blessing on the Moon God has definitely held, healed a lot of HP as much as you think. So the thing is, well, Estes, you know, might Estes might be back in a man. Who knows? You never know. Uh, Cloud tried to go for a sl uh, slaughterhouse spike onto Yako. Unfortunately, wasn't able to do quite that. Oh, that's a lot of damage coming it out from Leomar. Brute Force Breastplate will be able to be picked up by Yako right here. Yeah, for, oh, he just called a horse and now he goes in. Man to man, feet to feet, but he died at the horse. This might be the comeback, who knows? Guzion is getting stronger and stronger. Now he's level 10 already, but let's take a look at the, uh, at the siege on the bottom lane. It is not possible, unfortunately, but Pew is actually at the, at, uh, the exterior side of the turret. Trying to make sure he deals as much damage as possible. Maximum charge right into the enemy's, uh, into the enemy's heart and dealing as much damage yeah. as they can. Flash time trying so hard to stay alive in this tournament. This might be the fatal push with the uh, Lord coming out. A barrier has been set. Ready to go for the wild charge. Go in charge hit and all of them. AOE spells and it's all balls. Three. Oh my goodness. 
definitely gonna be the comeback for Team Flash Gaming. The game is not over yet. That is Kufra. Ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what a Kufra does. Dive straight to the enemies, bouncing ball, Tyrant's Fury, making sure that the oh, opponents wow. will not be able to escape. They got their back backs right to the back of the wall, and down they go. Yako is the only one left remaining in the team, and Team Flash are slowly making the comeback. They just need one more team fight, exactly like the previous one, to be able to catch themselves right back into the game. Yeah, the moment that Kufa just land his Tyrant straight and then fall up with a wild charge, I know that that's gonna be disaster for Team Signal Ultra. Now, I think they have to pick themselves up. They don't let them, them down just because lost one big team fight. They just only one step away for the final four. It is very, it's, it's a very, very close thing. So Team Flash, they knew, they knew that this is the final game for them if they lose. It's the second final game in some sense, but they would not be able to qualify for the semi-finals. So they want to keep it up. They need to keep it up. And right now, Signal Ultra is slowly knocking at their doors. We feel really low HP. Exactly how will Moonlight emerge and save him up? We'll see exactly how the top lane turret goes down, perhaps. Yeah, man, it's so hard to deal with the, uh, and, and to break through when your opponent got a grok and keep on doing the barrier like that. You know, you, you're gonna need something that can stab through the wall or some stuff. But even though you got, you you will be the only one who stays inside the, the base and you will die alone in there. That that was uh, that happened so many times to Team Signal Ultra. You see. Now the thing is, the game seems like they are on a stalemate. We do have Team Signal Ultra that is slightly afraid of Team Flash. Zakus right in the heart of the enemy side, but he has to make himself back right now, dealing a little bit of a damage to himself. Exactly how are they going to stay alive? Yeah, it stays, and also the Alice, uh, an unusual pick in this tournament, uh, actually working so well in this one. I believe that is an unexpected thing for Team Flash to deal with. But yeah, yeah they're figuring it out, and they're doing quite good. Kufra already turned himself into a bouncing ball, but not gonna be enough to kill anyone. Charging, charging, Sacker Power Nature is ready. So he's just gonna wait for his teammates. The sad thing is Yako always have to make his way to the top lane. Hellcut is just pushing in at the nick of time so that he can teleport right when... Oh, spinning around like a watching machine. How are they exactly going to do this? Watching machine will be not enough. Oh, look at that. Quite I big don't think one. It's enough. Yeah, come on. He's setting up the barrier or something. No, you need to set a combo for that Kufra to enough. land his Tyrant's Rage. Now the hard carry oh, goes down no. first. This might be the end. Signal. They have to break Yako. in. They have to break in the Malaysian wall. My, my. No, not the Malaysian. This is actually Team Flash from Indonesia. That was my fault. Oh, is it? The creeps are coming in. The creeps. Oh, oh no. Us. Oh, Alice! Oh, 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 they're still holding on! Come on! They just go straight in, but they're just gonna push back and that Goose Yard finally falls! But however, Hellcat still hanging on! Of the Moon Goddess! Oh saves my the day. Goodness. But two people cannot break in! Not allowed, they can't! But the thing is, can they break the heart of the Lord? Right now, Fuel is low in HP. His HP is low. Get yourself away. The thing Initiate is, retreat. maybe Fuel oh, might go that. down. Just one more speed. He anticipated that. He look at that. He anticipated <laughs> that. That is that's it done. Yeah. He kills the Lord with a sliver of health. And now a level 2 Lord fights for them as they slowly advance their way to the heart of Team Flash. Oh my goodness, this game, what an entertaining game we have here. And the longest game so far in this tournament. 14 minutes in. Yeah, I think the Hellcurt, the, I think the, um, the ultimate of the name, Hellcurt, the Nat Nightfall, is actually playing a big part in this one, especially when, when you want to siege inside. And if, if you get to turn the lights off, you can't see anything. Exactly. It's so easy for you to just land the Tyrant's Rage from Kufra and also setting up the barriers and some stuff. Maybe yeah. that's the reason why uh, the whole team of Signal Ultra falls into the, the, um, the big trap so many times. Barrier, they are waiting for that. They just start, gonna jump across the barrier, killing spree so easy. Immobilize, 
Decent here, trying to force Alice, trying to force every one of them back to the fountain. However, Spidey is attacked on the throne already. Double kill goes on now. Now, finally, it's the victory of Team Signal Ultra. Victory! And that is it, ladies and gentlemen.